colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. It's always a great feeling to receive an award and I'm very proud about the distinction that is being bestowed upon me today. It is also a pleasure to learn about the development that is going on in Hyderabad in the area of biotechnology. My wife and I have visited India many times. The first time in 1974, we have been back at least 20 times since and we have watched the development of science and education in this country and marveled at it. I will have a chance tomorrow to speak more broadly about innovation. Innovation is a word that I have heard in all the speeches so far tonight and tomorrow I will try to describe to those present in the audience how important it is to support basic research if eventually one wants to excel with innovations. Let me use a trivial example of how one goes from invention to innovation. You see, I'm carrying my tie in my breast pocket so that it doesn't endanger me from suffocating during the evening. This is an invention. Now, in case that all of you would follow, take off your ties and put them in the breast pocket, we would make the next step to innovation. But only if this new way of using ties would increase the number of ties sold per year about threefold, and I would get some premium on these extra sales, then it would be an innovation. And this is how you go from discoveries in basic science to defining areas of use, of, of possible use of this invention or discovery, and then make sure that you can carry it into the public eye in a profitable way. Only then do you have an innovation. And tomorrow I'll have a chance to be more scientific in describing how I see in my own area how things have gone from inventions, discoveries over two centuries into innovations. Thank you.